Normalization in deep neural networks. Let's see. What is normalization? Normalization is the process of scaling input values to a common range. So uh, in this case, we are subtracting the mean from each value and dividing by the variance. What this does is it zero centers the values and also we have the values in a tractable range where we don't have values that are too high or too low. Now, why do we care about normalization? So typically normalization can scale inputs to a common range and this would prevent the learning process from being dominated by those features which have a much larger range, uh, much larger scale. For example, let's say you are doing some uh, model like logistic regression and you have a bunch of input features. One feature is in, you know, millions and then other feature is like, you know, in decimals 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and so on. And suppose you try to, you know, learn with this data. Uh, depending on your choice of uh, learning algorithm, you might end up, you know, um, seeing if you look at this picture here, when you have uh, features that are skewed in scale, it might impact the learning process and you might actually go in a more zigzag direction as you see here and take more steps to reach a local optimum as opposed to if you have similar scales for features, uh, the learning algorithm is usually more stable and might lead to faster convergence. So this is a motivation to scale uh, inputs in general. So when it comes to and now when it comes to, you know, deep neural networks, we uh, want to look at like another aspect here. So there is uh, something called internal covariate shift that happens when we have, uh, you know, multiple layers on top of what we saw earlier. So if you're looking at uh, uh, like, let's say a logistic regression kind of a problem, right? We are trying to learn some weights based on what outputs, what target outputs we see for specific inputs, right? But when you actually look at the weights in a deep neural network, you will see that uh, for some of the layers at the top here, the inputs themselves are changing every time because they are the activations from the previous layers. So while you're trying to learn the weights, the inputs themselves are changing. The input, the input distribution could actually change based on what the weight updates in the lower layers. And this is called internal covariate shift. And one way to mitigate this is actually by normalizing the activations that are coming in, in order to bring them to a tractable range. Now, there are many types of normalization. Uh, typically, layer normalization and batch normalization are the most popular types of normalization. There's also, so layer normalization is typically done per instance for all the uh, activations of a layer. Batch normalization is done at the level of a mini batch. Group normalization is another technique where you actually, instead of doing it uh, across the entire batch, you actually pick a group uh, accordingly and uh, you do the normalization across the values there, uh, activations within that group. Um, there are also, you know, there's also the aspect of normalizing the weights versus normalizing activations. In certain architectures, the weights are normalized instead of normalizing the activations. I'm planning to record a few more videos to talk about each of these in a little more detail. So to summarize what we saw so far today though, we looked at what normalization is and why we need normalization in deep neural networks and the different types of normalization, which is like, you know, the batch normalization, the layer normalization, group normalization, and so on. Thank you.